Today, we also continue tracking the latest on coronavirus concerns. Authorities say overall risk remains low for most of us. First for you, a statistic with perspective. As tracked by Johns Hopkins, worldwide nearly 110,000 people have been diagnosed, but more than two-thirds of them, that's more than 62,000 people, have already recovered from coronavirus. Still, one local school, St. Ray's in Pawtucket, is closed for a second week after a school trip to Italy, one location with concentrated coronavirus cases. As just this morning, Roger Williams University announced 15 students and a faculty member may want to be on alert because they visited CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference. One man at the conference is now testing positive for the virus. Two members of Congress who came in contact with him are now isolating themselves to be on the safe side, Senator Ted Cruz and Representative Paul Gozar. Gozar has closed his office for the week. Cruz says he'll be staying at home for a few days. Other local universities like Brown and URI are restricting activities and also travel right now. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer joining us live now with in-depth local coverage. Well, Brian, Monday, both Brown University and the University of Rhode Island are suspending international travel. Now, both schools emphasize the risk to students on campus remains low. Universities in Rhode Island are taking extra measures Monday to reduce the spread of coronavirus. Brown University canceling all events with 100 people or more, both on and off campus, excluding academic classes. They're also requiring anyone returning to the U.S. after travel to China, Iran, Italy, and South Korea to self-isolate away from campus for 14 days. Both Brown and the University of Rhode Island are suspending international travel. URI suspending travel until May 1st, pending evolving circumstances. Circumstances. The decisions coming just over a week after the state's first presumptive positive COVID-19 case. The schools both emphasizing there are no confirmed cases at their campuses and the risk in the state remains low. And later this afternoon, the Department of Health is expected to address the media on the coronavirus here in Rhode Island. Live in Kingston, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News. And a note for you about what Brittany was just telling us, the Rhode Island of Department of Health is planning a 4 p.m. news conference to give the public an update. We will be streaming that live as it starts at WPRI.com and bring you updates on Eyewitness News starting live at 5.